Right, so this is the click event. What am I going to do? Well, the main thing we need to do is populate this list when it's clicked. For some strange reason, the way Excel executes this event is when the drop down box is clicked, it drops the list down. Fine. When you pick something, it drops the list up and that is treated as another click event and runs a macro again. <laughs> Which means that if in this code you say, oh, change the list to this new list, they click on it, you get the list, looks great, you pick the list and then all it does is blank it and repopulate it again. And so you never get to actually choose any item from the list. You look like you choose it and then it just goes blank again. So we need this sort of, um, we need to detect whether the list is coming down, going up. And what I do in order to do that, uh, where is it here? Right, so little hidden cell under there. It's not hidden, it's just under the combo box. Put it anywhere, but the key thing is give it a name range. Name, I called it n tag. So just type, pick on any cell, for example, and just type in here. As long as you click enter, it'll register that name. So what we can do is uh, every time we run the code, times that by negative one. So when we click down, populates the list, code changes to negative, that number changes to negative one. Next time the code, so then when the list closes, the code runs again, that tag is negative one. So we can make sure that it only populates the list when it's number one, and it shows scenarios when it's minus one. And as long as we're always times in that number by negative one and no one comes in and deletes it or anything, everything's gonna work fine. So let's put that in first. So and the way we do that is we just say range and tags value uh, equals one, then do that. Else we're gonna do something else and if. So that's our basic structure and then what we're going to do is at the bottom here, we're going to say that that equals itself times minus one. So that way, so I'll just put um, list down there as a comment, just so that we see what's happening. List up, and then that is uh, change the tag. So that way, as long as we've set our initial condition as one, when we click down, this code will run, whatever code we put in uh, here will run. And when it goes up, it will run, because the value will be minus one, it will run that. And then that code, that little statement there will keep flipping it between one and minus one. If you want to know much more about drop down boxes and how you can do really clever stuff with them, I've got loads of videos out on this now, so check those out. Uh, should be links in the description. I think it's probably playlist by now set up as well. Have a look round up for Excel and I'll see you soon.